Let me tell you about Listen Out. Now, if you don't know what about Listen Out is, it's a music festival. It's got uh, like R&B rappers, some like DJs, kind of like some indie people there. It's a good festival. Now, this year it was in September in Sydney. And it plays all over Australia. There's a few different places. Now, the main people that were playing there this year, well, for me, the main people were ASAP Rocky, uh, Skepta, Brockhampton, Skrillex, Snake Hips, uh, Manu Crooks, some other people. And they were good. They were good. But more about that later. So the day starts. We get up about... Well, I'm up at 5.30, you know. I guess, I don't know what it was. Had a good night's sleep and I was just ready to go. So, you know, went for a little run. You know, got, got myself. I thought that would, you know, that wake me up a little bit. So I went for a little run, and then you know we go over to we go over to one of the the homies crib, the places. We go over to one of the, the friends' houses, and we start to drink. We wait for everyone to get there, and then one of our friends, you know, their nan, the nan gives us a lift. We love her, by the way. No, no disrespect to her. So we get a lift to the station, the train station. Then we get on the train station, but. We are there to catch like an 11, f no, not that late, like a 10, 50 train, maybe. And we're there, we're, we are like one of the first people there, we're 20 minutes early, but there's two other people that are coming with us. There's six of us going, there's only four of us here, me, my, myself, obviously, one of them, three of us as well. So we're waiting for these other two people to come. They're late for the train, so we missed that train, because we decided to wait for them. We catch the next train. And this actually turned out to be a good idea because this train was not as packed and we could actually sit down and talk and drink. That was good. We could drink on the train. Now, I'm not saying drink is good, kids, but, you know, drink responsibly. And because more on that later. So we get down to... Uh, the, the train's still rowdy, nonetheless. Like, there's a drug deal going down behind us. We just try to ignore... People got kicked off the train for being too rowdy, so you know we had to we had to keep down. And I'm a good boy, so I had to keep it respectful. So anyway, get into the station. Let's let's fast forward to the festival. So we it's a long walk. So we had to catch a train, catch a bus, get off the bus, and then it's a big walk, big walk to the to the festival. Get in, no problem. So me and my one of my best friends. We split up from the rest of them, us two. We get in a little bit later. Takes us a little while to find people, because there's still, like, a few people, but this is a big area, three big stages, and, like, it's just big, 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 big. Sydney Centennial Park, That if you know where that is. If not, Google Maps, I guess. Look it up. Anyway, this place is big. We eventually link up with all them. And the good music doesn't start till later, so we're there about like 1.30, which it starts at 1, you know, they're there like 1.30 to, the, so ASAP Rocky doesn't come on till, you know, like 8.38, so we, we got time. Now keep in mind, drinks at this place, the cheapest one is $12. Now for a university student, yes I work, and you know, I knew this would be a big day, lots of money, but... $12. Are you serious? So my drink of choice for the day, we went into this thing called the Pims Forest. Now, it was like a little sectioned off place, and it was just... They only sold Pims or light beer ugh, or water. So we drank Pims, $12. And this place was good because it had no line. You go anywhere else, there's a Red Bull 10, and you know Red Bull, good. Red Bull, like, vodkas, you know, in moderation again. And that, they were good. The other bars, like, were selling nice drinks. But I didn't want to wait now, you know, to get one drink. Now that's drinking too responsibly. So fast forward, you know, we, we keep going to the Pims Forest. Get the Pims there. No lineup, you know. Three minutes, I reckon. Long as you wait. So that's all good. Now my friend, he, uh... I can't remember what happened. He was trying to talk to some... Some guy. And this group... And he had, like, a group of friends. And I was waiting. I just let him handle it. Next thing I know, like, they're tussling, tuss I shouldn't say tussling, that's a bit odd. They're kind of, like, fight, fight in wrestling. And this dude had stole my friend's sunnies. And we kind of, like, had to, to kind of, like, fight back on. 
and I had no idea what was going on, but we, we eventually got him back, and it wasn't that big of a deal, but I said to him later, like, what happened? And he said, uh, the guy I was just talking to, he just snatched the sunnies off my head. Now, I thought this was crazy, because we, we didn't know these, so for him to just take the sunnies like that, that was a bit weird. So when he was trying to get them back, uh, my friend that is, this guy, he just acts like they're his sunnies. He proceeds to be like, oh, no, these are my sunnies. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, he was one of those guys. So don't be one of those guys. At this point, my head was just dizzy. Not from the alcohol, but from the sheer fact that, like, just imagine that there's just thousands, thousands of girls, attractive women. There's lots of dudes too, but attractive women walking around. And I don't mean to degrade women, because I have a lot of respect for them, but at a festival, I guess they just do whatever they like, and, you know, they wore tight clothes, you know, they showed their bum, like, the girls were getting their <laughs> out, and it was nice to see. It accompanied the music nicely, it was like a real-life rap music video. So anyway, we're getting through, you know, some, like, the more boring artists. We get through Brockhampton, he they're not bad, like, we, we're getting along well. Anyway. ASAP Rocky comes on in five minutes at the Pims Forest. Location, Pims Forest, we go. My friend decides to get brave, skulls a couple Pims. Gets a little bit too loosey-goosey. Him and his girlfriend go mad, start fighting. Now keep in mind that the whole reason we're pretty much at this festival is to see ASAP Rocky and Skepta perform together. They've got that Praise the Lord, that song. You may have heard of it. If not, look it up. It's good. Face that Rocky, Skepta. Anyway, I digress. Right before they play, they decide to, like, break up. Things are said not good. So, miss, like, the first three hype songs. They eventually come back. I'm unhappy with this guy for making me miss it. He's unhappy that I'm unhappy. We eventually make up. And then we love, we love ASAP Rocky. So, yeah. Yeah, we'll call him. Yeah. Because that's not his real name, but that's his nickname. Yeah. Gets on my shoulders. He's loving ASAP Rocky. Then some other girl, she decides to get her top off, gets on my shoulders. She's going crazy. This is my first festival, did I mention that? This is my first festival. Anyway, she's going crazy up there. And then she gets off after that song. So she has to go. Gives me a kiss on the cheek. She's up. Shortly after that, we have to go to medical because one of my friends is feeling sick and she just wants a panel, you know, no big deal. They make her a line up, wait for that, still make her see a medic. Anyway. Eventually after that, we split up from the rest of the people because, you know, if you have to go to the bathroom at these festivals, that's a big event. Like, you don't take that lightly. You, If you've got to go to the bathroom, you've got to go to the bathroom. So anyway, we both go to the bathroom, me and this other friend. We come back to Skrillex. And that's pretty fun, you know, dance to Skrillex. And then, abruptly after that, the, the arguably the worst part starts. The trek home. So it's a big old walk back, if you recall that from the start of the journey. Big old walk back, catch a bus, that takes a while, because, you know, 35,000 people or something. Walking back, onto the buses, eventually going to that. Then you have to wait 40 minutes for a train, because we, we don't live, like, in Sydney. We live, you know, about an hour and a half away from there, rurally. So, you know, trains don't come all the time. So eventually you catch the train, and the train gets delayed because people decide to smoke on the train. And I don't know if you know this, but you cannot smoke on a train. So we are, were delayed like 20 minutes of already by these people. And then we have actually get a seat. We're lucky enough to get a seat. Some people were sitting on the floor, on the disgusting floor, getting crawled over. People are drunk, remember, getting crawled over. So we get a seat. We're lucky. And then this girl, she decides to come sit next to us. And I don't remember... It. Her name exactly, but if you've seen on Netflix that show Miranda Sings, well, she came and sat next to us and she would not shut up. She was so annoying. And my friends were just trying to sleep. I was okay, I didn't mind, but they were just trying to sleep and they were they were annoyed with her something fierce. Anyway, the rest of the night was pretty standard, picked up. 
in bed safely. Let me know about your festival experiences down below. I'd love to know if you've been to any festivals and the crazy things that have happened to you.